Hey there, uh, this time just want to share with you guys another GIMP tutorial. So some of you may be familiar with this. This is for the benefit of those who don't know yet. I had done quite um, a number of GIMP videos already, so you might want to check those out. GIMP is a freeware program very much like um, Photoshop. So let's get started. Basically, what I'm going to share with you is how to change the color of a person's hair. So to do that, just load your picture. In my case, I had loaded a Korean actress named Eugene Kim. So as you can see, she has a dark hair and we're going to change that. So you go to the layers window by pressing Ctrl L and then duplicate your layer like so. Now select your um, duplicated layer because this is the layer we're going to work on. And then we go to colors and then color balance. You could also use U saturation if you want to, but um, color balance uh, does the trick. So this is where your creativity kicks in. Um, you're the one who's going to choose what um, color your hair would have. So I think I'm just going to give um, her a bit of uh, like a um, brunette I'm not really sure but it's a dark red um, color so there so if you're satisfied with your settings just hit OK so basically what we're going to do here is leave the color on the particular part that we want to color on so in this case it's the hair so the other parts of the image should return to its original color to do that we go to the eraser tool and then select the type of your brush. Bigger brushes, um, it's good for your larger areas and smaller brushes would be for your smaller areas. So you can also rescale it like so. It's too big. And erase away. So be careful not to erase um, the color of the hair and take time do, um, take time in doing this just g basically showing you a demonstration and if you get a mistake all you have to do is hit control Z or undo and you can repeat whatever it is that uh, you did correctly so there you go uh, again this is just a demonstration so bear with me So I'm just going to change it to a smaller brush. I'm just going to smooth this a bit and there you go I had just changed her oops a little bit here okay so I had just changed um, Eugene's hair or hair color to a reddish uh, shade so there you go that's how you can change um, a person's hair using GIMP. Another use for this is if you want to dye your hair, you might want to edit your picture first to see if it looks good on you. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, just have fun.